Shalom, Kwam Yashala, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible, and the double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here forbears. And these videos we do only for the hopeful elect, which consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that includes the confusion of faces who were Israelites, and how do we know? Because the Spirit bear, bears witness with who we are. And the title of the video is called World War Three Pestilences and Earthquakes. So I want to jump us to these prophecies, which prophecy means to tell you something before it comes to pass. All right. And without further ado, first scripture I want to bring out is second Ezra chapter eight, verse sixty two. It reads, These things have I not shown unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. So the Lord is speaking to Ezra. And on 2nd Ezra chapter 8 verse 62 Telling him that these visions that he's shown Ezra He's only shown to a few men John the Revelator, um, Daniel You know and some of, some of the other prophets You know in the Bible Okay Now again these are visions and um, signs Of the, the, the coming of um, Son of Man Which is Lord Yahweh Shai Who our people ignorantly call Jesus It reads on Then answers I and said Verse 63, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not showed me. So the Lord didn't give him the day and hour. Because the scriptures say uh, only the Heavenly Father knows the day and hour that he's going to um, bring the only, send the only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, to give salvation to the elect of the nation of Israel and destroy this place called America, a.k.a. Babylon. Matter of fact, let me prove that. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 36. It reads, and this is written in red coming from Lord Yahalashai. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So that we just proved through the scriptures that only the Heavenly Father knows the, the day and hour that he's going to bring. He's going to send the only begotten Son to um to save the elect nation of israel okay and bring death and destruction on this place called america through nuclear fire of the icbm missiles and the lasers coming from the um chariots okay the angels and lord yahweh shai's chariot okay so reading on second Ezra chapter 8 verse 63 behold O lord now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders and what's what are some of the multitudes of the wonders uh, earthquakes in diverse places, World War III, famine, um, you know, evil times, death and destruction, okay, um, nation against nation, uprising of the people, okay, it reads on which thou hast begun to do in the last times, but at what time thou hast not shown me, verse um, chapter 9 of 2nd Ezra, verse 1, so I'm going to say it again, 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. So we're supposed to be measuring the times diligently. Staying, staying up on these um, news articles and news feeds from different um, sources. You know, comparing them. You know, just to make sure that, how, you know, they're accurate. But being able to discern the times we're in by, you know, keeping up and keeping track of the, the, the visions that the Lord is sending out. Okay. It says, verse 2, Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so that's why it's important for brothers to keep, you know, bringing out these prophecies. And um, the first scripture I want to bring out to jump right into the lesson is St. Matthew chapter 24, verse, let me start at verse 6. And this is written in uh, red coming from Lord Yahawashai. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So I brought out an article just to, to reveal, um, you know, the rumors of war and the wars, the, the warlike activity that's going on over there um, near the uh, Persian Gulf, you know, with Iran and um, Syria, you know, going against uh, America and Israel. You got Russia standing behind Iran. You know, Russia has a vested interest in Iran. You know, um, China is getting involved. All these different nations, um, are, are there, there's rumors of wars going on. I mean, you got tariff uh, charges and taxes going against one another to ultimately um, bring about economic disaster, 
between these economies. So, you know, China's putting, pushing tariff taxes against the U.S. and U.S. is doing it against China, um, as well as Iran. The EU is trying to, um, you know, is really picking a side. And the scriptures say the beast shall hate the whore, which the beast is um, EU and NATO. And they're starting to hate the whore, which is America. Because America is causing all this havoc, causing all this tension between these nations. But going back to the scripture, St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Now, I was speaking to a Jake, you know, um, at, at a meeting. I, I was um, actually getting ready for a meeting, uh, a business meeting or whatever. And there was a TV screen on. It was showing um, the news about Trump talking about, you know, uh, you know, basically talking about World War Three and what's going on, you know, with these different nations, Iran and the U.S. and whatnot. And um, the Jake and I, we were talking and, you know, basically she, you know, I didn't get into the truth or anything like that. But she mentioned that, you know, we're going to World War Three. And I'm like, yeah, U.S. is definitely going to World War Three. I mean, it's obvious. OK, knowing, you know, in the back of my mind, I, you know, I know the scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh Shemia was shy. But one thing she said to me that, you know, I really wanted to look into was um, she has a cousin in the military who was offered a five thousand dollar bonus to re-enlist in the military, in the Marines specifically. OK, when she said that, you know, I triggered my mind is to think that Esau is is gearing, gearing for war here, you know, to, to round up as many troops as they can to prepare for this war. So it's going from room from a rumor to an actual all out full fledged World War Three. Now, this article reads USMCLife.com is coming from that source. All right. <clears throat> and it came out August 2nd, 2018. The title reads Marine Corps sending a 136 million in bonuses to retain Marines. It reads the Marines is spending 136 million to re-enlist and re-enlistment bonuses and other incentives to help retain Marines for multiple military occupational specialties during fiscal year 2019. Why? Because they're planning on going to war. Uh, you know, if not the end of this year, which is, is it may be sooner, whenever the Lord wants it to happen, or um, you know, next year 2019, and we pray that it's as soon as possible. It reads, Marines and certain MOSs may be eligible for an early reenlistment kicker, which is a $10,000 loan sum paid to a Marine in addition to his, her, MOS's individual bonus if they put their package in before two, uh, September 30, 2018. So they're, they're pushing Jake and they're pushing these um, these uh, soldiers to reenlist. You know, and Marines is, is one of the, the, the branches of the military that usually starts off the war you know i and i'm not too um familiar with uh, all the branches and who specializes in what but usually marines is the one who kind of kicks off the war for for the u.s they're you know part of the ground game you know they, they specialize in, in more warlike activity so it really starts with the marines it reads there are also bonuses for marines making a lateral move into a high demand mos like infantry special operations or marines volunteering for special duty assignments and so i just want to bring out this article i'm not going to read the whole thing but this is the level of um desperation that esau is getting towards wanting to you know re-enlist uh, marines so we can uh so so the u.s can move towards that world war three agenda all right, and which we know through the scriptures is and will it will happen by measuring the times diligently, which is why I brought out Second Ezra chapter nine. But um, another article I want to bring out is uh, this is from CNN, and this came out August second. It reads: U.S. officials say Iran has begun naval operations in the Middle East. Okay, it says Iran has begun a major military exercise in the Persian Gulf region, according to a U.S. defense official directly familiar with the latest u.s information yeah because u.s has a lot of um special intelligence set up in that region to be able to keep track of that you know of what they deem as you know their enemy okay so they they're they're watching these other nations prepare for war and which uh, iran clearly is out in, in that persian gulf area you know on um, spending millions of dollars on training why because they're getting ready for world war three it reads the exercise underway and the U.S. assesses the as Islamic Revolutionary, Revolution, Revolutionary Guard Corps 
has deployed dozens of small boats in the initial phase. The exercise is taking place in Persian Gulf, the Strait of Hormas, which is like on the southern part of um, Persia, the Persian Gulf, and it reads, and the Gulf of Oman. So that Strait of Hormas is between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. It says, while Iran has not widely publicized the exercise, the U.S. military is concerned it could demonstrate Iran's ability to interfere with commercial um, shipping and shut down the Strait of Hormos and crucial a crucial conduit for global energy supplies, U.S. officials say. So they're in the middle of, um, let me show you exactly on the map. So if you look on the map, that Strait of Hormos is, let me pull it up, I don't like this map, yeah, there we go, that might do it, let me see if I can get her, so if you look at it, that's where the um, Strait of Hormos, Hormuz, I would say, is between the Persian Gulf and um, I think it's um, the Strait of Omen. And so it blocks the, um, the ships from coming in and delivering whatever products they can deliver, you know, for oil or whatever. And so it's going to cause a major issue um, between these nations. Okay, so um, that, that's one of the major concerns that U.S. is having, which is going to trigger um, a, a, quicker, a quick response from, from the U.S., OK, but I'm not going to read the whole article. I just want to go into, you know, um, some of the, the prophecies and measuring the times by bringing out these articles. You know, so the scriptures say St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So the scriptures say, see ye be not troubled. You know, so we're not troubled by this. You know, we we're rejoicing over the fact that we're moving towards you know, the final prophecies, you know, and, and bringing death and destruction ultimately to this place called America and land, land this land desolate. OK, all controlled by the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, verse six, actually verse seven, for nation shall rise against nation. And those are those race rides. And you got these other nations like Iran and um, uh, um, Syria, you know, um, going against the U.S. and uh, North Korea hating the whore, which is the U.S., as well as Russia backing up Iran, <clears throat> you know, so that's that nation against nation. There's race riots here in America with these Edomites, um, so-called white man, woman, and child, you know, starting to reveal the devil that they are, which means deceiver, um, you know, doing all types of wickedness to Jake, you know, and Jake getting tired of being oppressed by the so-called white man. You know, Jake is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. So it reads on, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And that's that World War III. <clears throat> Russia versus U.S. <coughs> Israel versus um, Syria and Iran. North Korea versus U.S. It reads, and there shall be famines. And there's going to be much famine to go, to, to go around, man. You know, there, you know with, with this economic collapse that's getting ready to happen in the U.S., is, the food is going to be scarce, man. You know, the food supplies are not going to be available uh, as, as much as it is now and, and not going to be avail available at all. People are going to go weeks without eating, man. Cannibalism is getting ready to happen. You know, it reads on. <clears throat> and pestilences. So I got a couple of articles I want to pull out in, in terms of pestilences. It reads 33 reported dead in Congo Ebola outbreak. So Ebola is back out. Ebola is back out again. Uh, these these um, pestilences, which are diseases, are, are being pushed out. So Sunday, August 5th at 8.43 a.m., got an article from CNN. It says 33 reported dead in Congo Ebola outbreak. <clears throat> the Ebola virus, virus outbreak in a Democratic Republic of Congo has killed 33 people, the World Health Organization said Sunday. And an additional 43 suspected cases of Ebola reported were reported, including 13 confirmed by lab testing, according to the World Health Organization. 
The outbreak is spreading through five health zones in North Kivu province and one health zone in Ituri province, which possesses uh, possess uh, geographic and political challenges. The WHO said North Kivu, Kivu borders Rwanda and Uganda and trade activity fuels heavy movement across the borders. So you got the Ebola outbreak, which quickly killed 33, you know. And, and you know, Issa all is so wicked, man. They they use these different test markets to, you know, which comes from, you know, CDC, Center for Disease Control, to push out these different outbreaks. So ultimately, they can send it, um, you know, in the land of America, and it's going to kill millions of people. And that's, again, being controlled by the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Another article on pestilences and these are reputable news sources this is fox 13 now.com it reads tests on mosquito confirms west now virus in uh, logan city all right this article came out three days ago logan utah west now virus has been confirmed in logan according to a post on the city's facebook page logan city mosquito abatement has been notified by utah state public health laboratory that one recent mosquito sample tested positive west now virus <clears throat> the mosquito trap where West Now was confirmed was located in the area 1700 North, 1200 West and Logan. So, you know, you got these different diseases coming out because why? We're in these last days where the Lord, it, where these prophecies are, are speaking, man. Going back to uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3. I'm going to bring that out and um, read a few more articles and close out. The book of Habakkuk chapter... 2 verse 3 let me get that right quick it reads for the vision is yet for an appointed time but yet at the end it shall speak and not lie so the visions that the Lord was given the, the prophecy the prophets in the past you know over 2,000 years you know the disciples was being given you know um, from Lord Yahweh of the final days and what to look for okay as well as John the Revelator uh, um, Ezra um, who was Daniel? It was all set from the point in time in which the times that we're living in now, which we always say through the Spirit, we're living in beautiful times. What a time to be alive, you know? Because the visions are speaking. All right? It reads, But at the end it shall speak. And we're at the end. It says, And not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Yeah, it may seem like it's taking a while, but we're going to wait for it. We're going to go through the sufferings and the persecution, the hell that we're catching. And we're going to rejoice as, as these prophecies are, are speaking. Because we're what? In these last days. It says, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And it will surely come. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. When the Lord says these things are going to happen before the day and hour, it's going to happen. So, uh, going back to St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. I'm going to start in the, um, the mid part. It says, and there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places so let's look up and see how many earthquakes there were today and see our people could be doing these things googling and researching and things like that but our people are too busy wanting to do the kiki challenge you know wanting to be on facebook taking selfies doing all types of wickedness man let me see um earthquakes in bali so there was an earthquake recently in bali at 6.9 uh, magnitude, okay? And that earthquake killed, let's see how many people it killed. It reported more than 100 dead, thousands waiting for aid in Indonesia. Now, we know um, that could be more, you know? That, that definitely could be more people dead. You know, they can't report and find all the bodies at one time. You know, with these earthquakes, it, it displaces many people. So, it could be months down the road, they still find them bodies, man. So um, it says Tuesday, August 7, 2018, the death toll from a powerful earthquake that hit Indonesia's tourist island of Lebak topped 100 on Tuesday as rescuers found victims under wreckage bu wrecked buildings while thousands left homeless in the worst affected areas waited for aid to arrive. So we got earthquakes in diverse places, things that have never happened before man uh, uh earthquakes are at a magnitude that has never happened or barely happened before man okay now when you look at um earthquakes in the last 24 hours 
and I need to get that app. But um, let's see, earthquakes in the last 24 hours. There's a there's a website that I like to go to. Like to go to, I think it's this one. In the last, there have been 106 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. 28. 168 earthquakes in the past seven days you know these are all the earthquakes that are being reported let's look up another source let's see uh, earthquake live yeah let's check that out uh, let's not go there So, 158 earthquakes above one magnitude. So, they're just reporting the ones above one magnitude. 158. So, you know, we're living in times where, you know, the prophecies are speaking. Okay? So, you know, it's important for us to measure the times diligently. And with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom.